Now then my friends, I am at the Sizzling Stone in Keswick in the English Lake District. Super excited about this one. Now, you all, you all know I've been at Sizzling Stone, I'm staying here, I've done the breakfast here. However, it's not called the Sizzling Stone for nothing because the Sizzling Stone are renowned for their steaks, which are done on a Sizzling Stone. Oh. By this guy here, so by you, but by me, yeah, oh, it's by me, yeah. I it's do it. Table. I'm gonna be the chef, I'm gonna be Gordon Ramsay myself. Um, we're gonna try it out. I've had a look at the menu, the menu looks absolutely superb. We're gonna go with the starters, a main course, and a main course, and a dessert, uh, just so that we can show you guys what it's like. I've read the reviews, the reviews are excellent, however. There is one person that hasn't reviewed them, and that's myself, the Mike Master, and I'm going to be reviewing them today. And if your breakfast is anything to go by, this is going to be stunning. Now then, you do you also do just for vegetarians? You do a vegetarian menu we do, as well. We do halloumi kebabs. Halloumi kebabs. We've got to be really, really careful how we do things on the stone because the stone's 450 degrees. So as you're cooking everything, you don't want to burn it or let it, or just blitz it. And, nuclear it, it, it just it's got to be something much robust and we found that halloumi kebabs work great so it's halloumi cheese on skewers with onions peppers tomatoes and then it comes with the chips or the everything else excellent all locally sourced so all the meats all the veg everything locally sourced in the ca ca postcode in the ca postcode Our postcode is ca12 so okay. everything that we do obviously halloumi is not but all the meat, all the produce that we have is all grown within the CA postcode. I can't wait for this. Now then, quick question. You're a chef, tell me. Steaks, how are they supposed to be done? Definitely, well, definitely medium. Medium yep. at the most. Medium at the most. Yeah. You said to me the other day, there's a, there's a famous saying, uh, a good... A, a good, good vet could get that going. <laughs> could, get, back to life. could bring it back to life so we're going to go medium today my friends super excited about this we're going to take you guys in with us we're going to we're going to have a closer look at the food we're going to taste it days are open by the way uh, tuesday to saturday tuesday to saturday book online or just ring up and uh, book but the best thing is to ring up ring up book a seat it's very popular it's a very very popular place i have read it online so uh, call up, book a place, get your table booked. Things are back open now. Are you excited? So-so. So-so. We'll are you, see. Are you yeah. nervous about I'm, the score? I'm, he's nervous. Ex oh, more, I'm more nervous about that than, <laughs> than the opening tonight. <laughs> first night open tonight so it is going to be quiet in there because i don't want to be uh shouting my head off on the camera so there were just me in there i think uh, for starting with i was going to go a bit later but so don't worry it is busier there's a more of an atmosphere i'm just slotted in at a time before so i can shout at the camera to you guys so there we go don't forget to like subscribe click that little bell for notifications of when i upload new videos follow me on instagram which is down there this guy's details by the way all down in the description down below so when you come over here and if you want to stay as well there's rooms up there as well so bring your loved one bring your mates come and stay have your meals it's all happening right here in keswick so without further ado my friends let's go Okay, so we've got our starters here. 
Uh, we've got the sun blushed tomatoes with a baked chia batter, uh, and olive oil balsamic vinegar there. So uh, this one's 4 95 so I'm going to tuck into this, see what it's like. Mark it out of 10, I'll mark everything out of 10 at the end because we're going to go for the steak for the main course and then we're going to go for dessert. Not sure what dessert I'm going to go for yet, but we're going to taste this right now. Very nice, very nice. A little bit of balsamic. Uh, I'm going to go for the um, Canada fries. Mm. Uh, can I please go for the that bread is perfect. Mm. Try the tomatoes. Mm. Bursting with flavour, really, really nice. Right, I'll eat this and I'll come back to you. Go on. Okay, that was absolutely amazing, my friends. The bread, really fresh, nice crispy on the outside, soft on the inner, uh, the tomatoes, really fresh, bursting with flavour. <sighs> Unbelievable, really nice. Set up now for the main course. Just have a drink of beer. Okay, so here we go. Um, we've got the steak here, we've got the fillet steak. We're gonna have it medium, obviously it's on the sizzling stone itself, at about seven minutes each side, uh, and that should do it apparently. So we've got the little uh, tweezers there, fork, tongs, that's it. We're gonna turn it seven minutes each, each side, that should do it. We've also got the peppercorn sauce coming because they do their own special peppercorn sauce here, which is supposed to be fantastic and I've gone for the chips side of chips as well so oh man I mean just look at this take a closer look Okay, so the heat from this, really, really hot. Even the plate is scorching hot, so I'm gonna try and flip this. It's been about five minutes, but we're gonna give it a little bit of a turn and uh, see what it's like on the underside of it. So we'll just turn this over now. Wow, it's so hot. Oh, man, that is hot. It smells amazing. Okay, so we've got the uh, peppercorn sauce, we've got the chips here, nice chunky chips, which look absolutely stunning, they look great. Um, in fact, I might have a, they, they're gonna be boiling, they're gonna be hot. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. 
slightly crispy on the outside, soft on the in. Got the steak there, got the peppercorn sauce. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a little bit of this steak now. I'm going to cut into it, see what it's like. Take the first bite, leave it on there, put it on the plate and put a little bit of peppercorn sauce on it. I'm going to try it without first. So here goes. Okay, the moment of truth. Absolutely superb. I think that is cooked to perfection. Cooked by Master Chef, Mac Master, Mac Master Chef. I like that, Mac Master Chef. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Juicy. Just look at that. Mm. It's so good. I almost don't want to put peppercorn sauce on it because it's just the, the flavours, the juice. It's succulent, it's flavoursome. The smell of it is just absolutely amazing. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to mark it out of 10. Everything out of 10 at the end. But I can tell you, this is going to be a high score. I mean, oh, beautiful. Right, I'm going to take this off before it gets overdone. Pour the peppercorn sauce on. A little bit of mustard as well. Just to give it, just to give it an edge. That's going to be I'm going to take some more That has got to be the best peppercorn sauce that I've tasted it, it's unbelievable. Mm. Whoa, it's got a little bit of a kick. That is amazing. Oh. Right, I'm gonna eat this and I'll come back to you. See you, see you guys after. <laughs> Okay, I've come out for a bit of a breather. I've got to tell you, I don't know where to start with this, okay? I'm not just saying this for the camera. I defy you to, to, to come here and tell me that this is not the best steak that you've ever had. That is the, I've had steaks in America. I've had steaks in New York at Keynes. 
I've had stakes in Vegas, I've had stakes in Kuala Lumpur, I've had stakes in London, I've had stakes everywhere and that obviously it was cooked to perfection by the Mac Master Chef um, but it was it was there was not an ounce of gristle in it it was literally you cut through it it was like cutting through butter you put it in your mouth you bit into it there was you didn't even you didn't even have to to particularly chew it it literally melted in your mouth it was absolutely superb I can tell you now there isn't a score high enough for that steak my friends unbelievable the peppercorn sauce blew me away uh, it's their own menu their own recipe uh, it's just amazing I almost didn't want to put the peppercorn sauce on to the steak because the steak was so tasty without it but then again it added to it it literally doubled the flavor it was just absolutely I, I, I literally am blown away by it I could have eaten it again it was just superb and it, as I say it was cooked to perfection obviously I'll give it a 10 I'm gonna give that a 10 a 10 out of 10 I'd give it more if I could it literally that's the best food I have ever reviewed my friends unbelievable out of this world you've got to come and try it honestly trust me come along try it tell me you'll tell me I'm right I'm gonna go in the, the starters very nice lovely tomatoes are great I'm gonna give that a 8.5 8.5 for the starters main course though unbelievable wow I'm gonna have some dessert now or pudding as they say up north uh, and see what the desserts like but I almost don't want the dessert because I don't want to take away the taste of that steak unbelievable right come on onwards oh, right okay so we've got the desserts here I'm not even sure that I can fit one in but they've insisted I need to try it and apparently there's zero calories uh, because uh, you can't look at the calories so we've got a different you've got a choice of, of desserts here take a look Oh, okay, well, I think I might go for the cheesecake. When you turn them over as well, <coughs> it tells you on the top there all about it. Uh, it also tells you uh, the calories that I'm not gonna look at, uh, but it tells you a little bit about the dessert. I think I'm gonna have to go for the cheesecake. Um, I'm a bit of a cheesecake fan. So I might have to go for the mango and pa passion fruit cheesecake parfait. Or parfait, as they say in Mansfield. Right, we'll go for the cheesecake. Oh, blimey. Unbelievable. And you can have ice cream with it as well, or sorbet, sorry. Or ice cream as well. Okay, right, so it's dessert time. I've gone for the cheesecake, I've gone for the, uh, the, the passion fruit, the mango and passion fruit. Uh, looks absolutely superb. We've got vanilla ice cream on the side, served on a Lakeland slate. It looks phenomenal. Um, I can only imagine it, it will taste the same as well. Take a closer look at this. Okay, my friends, the moment of truth. Here we go. Love a bit of cheesecake, I have to say. <laughs> I've kept just a little bit of room left, just a little bit. Here goes. Good consistency. Here we go. Mm. I wasn't going to eat all this. 
but it's Moorish. It is. It's Moorish. Unbelievable. Oh. Wow, this is unbelievably nice. I'm not thinking about the calories. Mm. Right, okay, my friends. Let's wind this up now, because I'm gonna have a beer and have the rest of the day off. When you come out for a meal, I think it's an amalgamation of things. It's gotta be a fusion of different things. It's gotta be special. You've gotta have the hospitality, you've gotta have great food, and you've gotta have great ambience. This place has all of them things. That food was amazing. The dessert, the cheesecake by the way, I've, I've reviewed the others, I've reviewed the other two dishes and I'm going to give the cheesecake, I'm going to give that a, a nine. Unbelievable, really, really, really nice. The steak we've been into, I'm not saying any more about the steak, phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. So uh, you can come by if you want, it's fine, that's fine, it's great, absolutely amazing place. Um, it was all round, every course was fantastic. The steak, as I say, not going into it, taste it for yourself. If you don't believe me, taste it for yourself. I, I, I defy you to find a better steak anywhere, anywhere in the world, honestly. Unbelievable. Um, loved it, phenomenal. I, I can't rate it highly enough. Superb place, really nice. So, uh, wonderful. Anyway, you can go now, I'm gonna have my beer, and I'm taking the rest of the day off. Cheers, guys, don't forget, Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Stay safe guys, bye bye.